So it will be another great day to be outdoors, but regardless of temperatures and the season, the Minnesota Zoo has something fun planned for you. Earlier this week, I talked to Zach Nugent from the zoo to hear about what they have planned for November. Weather-wise, we've seen a little bit of just about everything these last <laughs> few weeks, so we want to have a little fun with it because the zoo is such a fun destination, no matter if it's a sunny 65 degree day, there's leaves on the ground, a little dusting of snow. Regardless, the zoo is just a great location to reconnect with nature and just be able to connect with some magnificent animals from all over the world. Those animals are there, whether it's warm or cold, they're living in the same weather we are 24 seven. They sure are, and just like us, there are certain ones that like the warmth a little more, that like the coolness a little more. So actually fall and winter, a lot of our outdoor animals are used to the seasonal change and they tend to be a little more active when it's a little cooler out. So it really is a great time to see our tigers walking around, see our sea otters swimming in Russia's grizzly coast. Our bears are getting a little sleepy this time of year, but there's plenty of other animals that are really active and really engaging at this time. So we also have uh, not only the animals to watch, but you can watch other humans do activities and do some <laughs> yourself, right? So we have a pumpkin scavenger hunt that is set up. You can download the app or, or excuse me, download the map just right on your phone and follow along. It is a go at your own pace hunt and really just a way to explore the northern trail along the zoo. Get out, enjoy some of this beautiful weather, whether again it's sunny or a little snowy and enjoy a bit of time in nature. So you and I are talking via Zoom, which is like, I think, where everybody lives these days. Mm. But coming up on Thursday, you have an event that's encouraging people, at least for a day, to just give it up and enjoy real life in person. Technology has been so great for us these past few months in so many ways in keeping us connected. But there's something to be said about being able to take some time away from the screen. Do the Zoo, not Zoom Day, is coming up Thursday. And to help people break away, uh, the Zoo has a fun toolkit that you can download. It includes a permission slip from a zookeeper to skip work and also Zoom dummies, which are animal images that can replace you in your Zoom meetings. We have a link to all that, as well as details on the scavenger hunt going on until November 22nd at WCCO.com slash links. And I think I want to be replaced by an elephant because after a summer of eating and sitting inside, I feel like that's what probably best represents me. Oh gosh, Mike. well, I love the creativity of the zoo. I always feel like it's a good day if you're at the zoo and those animals look just fun to go check out and go see and, and creativity yep, is great. Indoor and outdoor activities. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for sharing that with us, Mike.